Buenos dias, hello everyone. This is Glenn Irvin, and this is a quick video about my favorite screencasting tool called Screencast-O-Matic. And Screencast-O-Matic is just super awesome, easy to use, and it's free. I mean, what a combination that is. So to get to Screencast-O-Matic, you'll go to screencastomatic.com. You'll see it up here. It has screencast dash O dash Matic, as that's how you actually reach uh, their website. And once you're there, what's super cool about Screencast-O-Matic is that you can log in if you already have an account. And the accounts, I think, are like $10 or $11 for the entire year if you wanted to do the paid account. The difference between free and paid is uh, the paid account gives you unlimited recording time as far as each of the screencasts. And the free account has 15 minutes as far as recording time per video. The second uh, type of thing is that you'll get a watermark if you have the free account. But, I mean, who cares? That's super easy. You can sign up, as it says here, because it's free. Or you can just click this button right here and, uh, honestly, just launch the recorder right away off, off of this site. There are other parts that I really like about it is that this works with, for example, Chromebooks because it's a web-based tool. So you don't need an actual application or anything like that. You can launch from wherever you want. So super awesome, easy to go ahead and use. So since I'm actually using Screencast-O-Matic to record the screencast about Screencast-O-Matic, very meta there, I have uh, taken some screenshots here to kind of show you the process about how this actually works. Basically, once you click this button over here where it says launch free recorder, a screen will come up where you can resize the screen. And what does that actually look like? Well, I'll show you basically, even when I'm recording, I can actually move this screen around. As you can tell right here, I'm kind of moving it left and right here. I can actually say, where do I actually want you to record at? Super easy to do it. I can do it right before I actually start recording. So another feature I really love about this, I pre actually just press pause and I messed this a section up here and I went and I rewinded basically the part that I messed up and now I've re-recorded over. It's called truncating. It's super easy to go ahead and do inside of Screencast-O-Matic. I love that. Absolutely love that feature. So anyway, what do we actually do once we go ahead and click the launch free recorder? Then what will happen is you will come up with this screen here and it'll look like this. It'll be on the bottom left. You'll have your big square and then you'll have this kind of options menu where it says, hey, do you want me to record your screen, just your webcam or both? And by the way, you can switch these things as you're recording. So that's super awesome and easy to do. Now this one, it says max time none because this is a paid account that I have, uh, but yours will say, I think, 15 minutes. The other part is will say the size of the screen. So depending upon what kind of uh, screen you want. So for example, if you want a 1080p, you could actually size that to 1080p if you wanted to or 720. The narration part actually says, hey, where do you want me to pull the narration from? So my voice is actually being pulled from my uh, Blue Yeti here, but it could just be pulled as easily from your computer. So it'll auto detect that. But if you want to change that, of course, there are some preferences you can change. Uh, we don't need to talk about those right now. So once you start recording and then you're going to press the pause button when you're done. Uh, and then you can go ahead and basically say, hey, I want to actually go ahead and I'm done with this. And that will be a done button. And it'll say, what do you want me to do this? Do you want me to save or upload it, quick share it, or edit the video? You can do any of these things that you want. For right now, let's just focus on saving and uploading. And when you press save and upload, a screen like this will come up. And honestly, what you can do here is so many things. You can actually edit the video in here so you don't even have to pull it out to something like Adobe Premiere or iMovie or something like that. You can edit it all right here inside of Screencast-O-Matic. What a fantastic tool. What I would do then is as long as you are happy with your video, you're going to press save as video file. And that way you can post this to YouTube, you can put it in Google Drive, or for our purposes, you can put it inside of Schoology for your students to be able to see. Super easy. It will create an MP4 file, which is visible by any uh, type of device. So when I press save as video file, it'll actually say, hey, I'm going to save as an MP4. What do you want me to call this? So I would definitely recommend call, uh, putting a name to this. So for example, if this was for an e-learning day, you can call it e-learning day. It'll ask you where do you want to save it. And then right now, I'm actually uh, going to save highlight cursor. And you can see me moving this thing around. If you want this cursor uh, to appear, then you, then you can select that. If you don't, you, uh, you can click this and toggle that off. So that's easy enough. 
Then the quality button will come up or the quality choice here. I'm selecting lower, smaller file because it's not really that important for my, for example, I'm putting a little video inside of Schoology. It's a lot easier to download this and then to upload it back into Schoology. So I would select lower, smaller file unless you are creating a high quality video that you're going to post, for example, on YouTube. Then, of course, you can change your setting. And then, honestly, you press publish and you are done. I mean, this is the best tool, super easy to use. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Adiós.